Well, if you have not heard of classical education schools, you're about to. More classical schools are opening as taxpayer-funded charter schools in Florida. But much of their growth can be traced to a small college in Michigan. It's called Hillsdale College. It's about 800 miles from Florida. Some have criticized it for pushing a conservative, biased, and politically driven curriculum into public classrooms. Katie Legron spent weeks digging into the college's influence in Florida, and what she discovers is a footprint that goes back years and hasn't always made the grade. Yes, the classical academies are flourishing in the state of Florida. This was Florida Governor Ron DeSantis back in February, touting the state's support of classical schools. We hope to have many more. At the time, DeSantis was the keynote speaker at a leadership conference hosted by Hillsdale College, a small conservative Christian college in Michigan, working to expand a classical ed curriculum some education experts describe as conservative, narrow, and unabashedly patriotic. There's definitely a belief West European and white forms of knowledge are the highest forms of, of knowledge. It discourages a focus on racism. It discourages a focus on criticality when it comes to government. And it discourages a focus on teaching culturally relevant curriculum. And Hillsdale spreads that curriculum through its network of publicly funded, privately managed charter schools. Here is its president talking about it last year. We got into education reform and founding charter schools. And the, ble the best place in the country to do it is Florida. He's right. To date, Hillsdale has helped open more classical education charter schools in Florida than any other state nationwide. From Naples to Jacksonville, the school currently boasts seven member schools here, meaning Hillsdale provides each school training for its staff, a curriculum for its students, even on-site visits and consultation on who to hire, according to a standard agreement we obtained. While its Florida footprint dates back to 2014, its influence in the Sunshine State has surged under Governor DeSantis and former Florida Education Commissioner Richard Corcoran, who in 2019 even selected the college to help revise the state's civic standards. This summer, Florida teachers were also offered specialized civics training. Hillsdale approved. I'd love to see the same Hillsdale model, but to rapidly expand and go into pre-K to third grade and, and go into every single state as fast as we can. The way they're manipulating the political structure through these state governors, I think that's very unique. UC Berkeley professor Bruce Fuller has studied charter schools for decades. Hillsdale, he says, is becoming a public education game changer. I've never seen a religious-based charter operation be so shrewd politically. But a closer look reveals that shrewdness hasn't always resulted in successful partnerships here. In 2019, the college severed ties with Mason Classical Academy in Naples, its first Florida charter school, after the local school district and Hillsdale separately alleged Mason's board was fraught with mismanagement. This past April, the college decided it was out with the new when it ended its partnership with Tallahassee Classical Academy, just about a year after Hillsdale helped the school open. Sometimes families uh, are dysfunctional, have a little bit of disagreement, but we don't focus on that. The school's board chair and longtime Florida lobbyist Barney Bishop did not elaborate, but says the school still uses Hillsdale's student curriculum. They just no longer deal with its critiques. All we ever got was the negative. We've discovered the school is also among three of Hillsdale's affiliated schools in the state who last year earned an overall C by Florida's Department of Education. There are a lot of schools that are C's and D's and F's uh, around the state. It hasn't stopped a single parent from coming here to our school. Parents like Kim Hawks. I'm not bothered by that at all. Two years ago, she decided to pull her oldest from a traditional public school for Tallahassee Classicals more conservative approach. I would be naive to say that there isn't an, a political agenda for pretty much everything in our lives, but uh, we, we chose to be part of a conservative community. We chose to be part of a classical education that aligns with our family values. Hillsdale's momentum in Florida is just getting started. Several new classical charter schools with Hillsdale links are already in the works. What would DeSantis say if there was a charter school created just for transgendered kids, right? It would be seen as exclusive and unwelcoming for other kinds of parents. But Hillsdale's doing the same thing on the, on the far religious right spectrum. We're trying to get away from the political movement of public schools 
who are trying to teach our children a woke political agenda. They started it. If they hadn't started it, there wouldn't be a need for conservative schools. Despite numerous requests, reps from Hillsdale College have not returned our calls or emails. I'm Katie Legrone reporting.